Has it really been this long? Yeah, it has. I don't have any good excuses other than school and, and life and um, YouTube's content ID matching, screwing some of my videos up. But anyways, welcome. It's December 2013, and this is a new edition of Heat Sinks. I'm your host, Ben Knowles, and uh, we're going to do something a little different, um, and I'll talk about this a little later on the, in the uh, episode, but I will not be reviewing any video games today. No music videos, no YouTube channels, only because YouTube's content ID system has gone absolutely psychotic. I want to see what happens with uh, my current content fights before I make the decision to do any more episodes like I've done in the past. But um, today I want to talk to you about a couple of different things. The first thing I want to talk to you about is Growler and Scruff. If you don't know what those are, obviously you've been locked in a box or you're happily married gay guy or you have a great partner or whatever. These are effectively social networking apps that serve almost as basically hookup sites. Um, though I will state that I have met some really cool people uh, through both sites, some of them I do stay in contact with. Have I hooked up with people off these sites? Dear God, yes. Um, but I think what I want to talk about today is what I call you know common decency. Both of these apps have features where you can send kind of a an introduction, a woof, a gur, the equivalent of hi, how are you? And what I find absolutely just infuriating is the fact that people won't respond. They won't say anything. Even though most of the time I personally always try to say, hi, how's it going? I actually try to make it a little more personal than just what the standard hi intro app, you know, intro phrases, you know, are. But what I find absolutely just frustrating, though, is just people don't respond. They just sit there or they just ignore you or they block you. And come on, guys. I mean, if you're not interested in somebody, say something. Don't just, ugh, just be silent. If you're not interested in somebody, just say so. Not a hard thing to do. Um, the other annoyance on there is people that just block you. Say, you know, hi, how you doing, wolf girl, whatever. And they just automatically block you, no questions asked. Um, I also think part of the problem, too, is that people need to actually read the profiles before you, you know, make an introduction to somebody. Um, I, I'm bad about this. I used to do it a lot where I wouldn't even read the profile. I'd just look at the pic and say, wow, wouldn't mind jumping in your pants. And, you know, not even realize that they're married, they're looking for a twink, they're looking for a chaser, they're looking for this, that, and the other, that obviously I don't fall into that category. So here are my tips to have a successful time on Growler. First of all, remember, you're not the hottest guy on there. For you to sit there and not respond, whether it's just, hi, thanks for saying hi, you know, what have you, you should do that. Two, if you're not interested in somebody, just say thanks. I appreciate your messages, your compliments, whatever. But, you know, I'm, I'm not interested. You're not what I'm looking for. You know, be tactful about it. Three, don't just start blocking people. Now, obviously, the block feature is there because there's going to be those people that will just annoy the living shit out of you. I've been there, done it. I've been annoying to some people. I've had people that have been beyond annoying to me. Um, of course, my personal favorite is when they go delete their account, create a new one just so they can start harassing you again with hopes, I guess, false hope of, um, I don't know, doing something. So, um, you know, respond, let down nicely. And don't block unless there's a really legitimate reason to do so. So there you go. There's my irritation with the Growler Scruff app world. It was so much easier back in the days before the internet when you actually went to like cruising spots. But nobody out there is going to remember any of that except me, I think. Okay, on to my other topic, which is the YouTube content ID system. Now, here's the thing. Short, sweet, to the point. They changed their system up a little bit, and now their content ID system, which finds copyrighted materials, is I mean, just they, they had a major upgrade to it, and they are flagging videos right, left, sideways, upside down. Uh, I'm going to put a link somewhere in this video, probably right up above my head somewhere. There it is. And uh, I found a video that really describes what they're doing. Basically, they just beefed it up. In short, you know, content ID, 
I have no problems protecting copyright holders, but if you're doing things correctly, you're doing fair use, like whenever I review music videos on here or someone else's channel, that's fair use. I've actually got two companies right now, uh, both Universal and Warner, are both fighting me because of a review. Well, reviews covered under fair use. I have started the process of appealing it and 30 days. I don't make any money off my videos. None of my videos are monetized that I'm aware of. If they have been, they've been done without my permission. If you ever see any of my videos where you're seeing ads pop up and stuff, do me a favor, drop me a, a, a note on here or on Google Plus and just kind of let me know, hey, look, um, there's ads here because quite frankly, I'm not taking a chance. Uh, just remember, if you're using copyrighted material, for the love of God, make sure you have a legal use for it. You know, don't just sit there and throw up a bunch of music. There's a couple of great channels right now, Hits Town USA. A guy takes records that are long out of print, and he plays them on there. He actually plays them off of a, off of a turntable. It's a great channel. I hate the thought of seeing stuff like that go, but if you're not reviewing it and you're not going under proper fair use, then you're screwed. Um, if you notice, I changed my intro music. I used to use uh, uh, Out of Sight, Tonight's the Night. Um, I no longer use it at all, and I won't simply because it got tagged. And so I had to, I'm actually going to have to go back and change that. I'll fix that, not a problem. So instead, I'm using uh, an opening for an old TV news station from the 19, early 1970s, which is actually no longer copyrighted. It is now considered public domain, but I have still sought out the permission to do it. So I have written permission to do it. So content ID, guys. Don't don't bitch and complain too much about it. If you're a gamer and you're doing these videos, that's a gray area, just like you'll see in the uh, in the, the the link that's right there. You know, it's a gray area. The fair use codes were written in '76, so what do you expect? They didn't have the internet. They didn't have anything other than Pong and a handful of crappy, you know, like two-bit video games back then. So just be careful. And that's why you won't see me doing any more Heat Sinks Arcade episodes in the near future. Um, Namco was one of the worst. I've had a couple of my videos flagged by Namco. I'm kind of waiting to see what happens, but we'll we'll find out, you know, later on down the line. Um, I am going to have be throwing some episodes together pretty soon for footage that I've shot throughout the year, but just never got around to it. But once again, I'm going to wait until this whole content ID thing kind of blows over. Uh, they've got until January 10th to respond to mine. Um, I run probably a good 80% chance that they're just going to drop it because they're all legitimate uses. So, uh, if you got topics you want me to talk about, write down there in the comments. Um, I'll talk about anything you want me to talk about. If uh, you want to do viewer questions, hey, shoot me a question. You know what? If it's not too terribly bad, I'll answer it. May even do it the equivalent of an NSFW show one of these days where I'll talk about all kinds of dirty stuff. And I'm not talking about stuff that cleans up with soap and water. Yeah. So anyways, short episode. I know it's been a while. I'm back. Here I am. Did you miss me? Seriously, did, did you miss me? I hope so. If not, then. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time.